And we now have breaking news. A Dunedin man arrested for having destructive devices. News Channel 8's Chip Osowski, he joins us from Largo now with the latest on what that means. It's disturbing for sure, Chip. Stacy, definitely a disturbing case bordering on scary. Sheriff Bob Gualtieri just wrapped up a news conference here at the sheriff's office a short time ago, calling the man they arrested a sleeper, comparing him at times to the shooter in Las Vegas. We want to show, a pic show you a picture of the guy we're talking about. 24 year old Randall Drake is now behind bars, charged with two counts of unlawfully making or possessing possessing destructive devices. Investigators served a search warrant at his Dunedin house looking for child pornography, but what they found disturbing is disturbing in a different sense. High-powered rifles, other firearms, guns, gunpowder, and bombs and bomb-making equipment. They also found maps showing Esrick Elementary, Ben Hill Middle School, and the Hillsboro Water Treatment Plant in Tampa. The sheriff says it appears he was working alone. You know, again, it's, it's reminiscent of what we saw recently, you know, in Las Vegas. That guy's a sleeper. Nobody knew anything about that guy, apparently. I don't know anything about that case, so I can't comment on it, but, you know, from the reports. So, and uh, these are the people that are most concerning to us, what we call the lone wolves, you know, the sleepers that are out there, the people who are not on our radar, the people who have flown under the radar or off of it. So what was his plan? We really don't know. He's not talking to cops. One of the things they found and showed us at this news conference was a letter he wrote. Part of it says the world is going to burn, burn, burn. He's currently in jail. He has posted bond, but the sheriff tells me deputies are going to hold him and Baker Act him, Baker Act him so his mental state can be checked out, basically hold him in custody as long as they legally can. Stacy. All right, Chip Osowski, live for us. Thank you.